And then after that, uh, they go to the moon of Endor, which the crashed Death Star is on, and look for the uh, Wayfinder. And Rey finds herself in the middle of the the old throne room from Return of the Jedi. It was that cool. This was though. awesome, and they played the old score too of when Vader was unmasked. Yeah. And she walks into this room where the Wayfinder is, and then she sees a vision of like a Sith version of herself with a weird lightsaber. It was like folded over, and but then it was also a saber staff. <laughs> like I like saber staffs, but nah. And then you know. She, yeah. Ky- Kylo, yeah, that was pretty freaky. I won't lie. Then Kylo, she drops the wayfinder. Kylo picks it up and smashes it. She says, "The only way you're getting to Exegol is with me." They get into a saber fight. She and, stabs him. Well, yeah, they end up outside, and she, he's about to stab her, and then he senses something. Ben. His mom. And yeah, she becomes unconscious after Ray stabs him. After Ray stabs him, she becomes unconscious. Ray's like, Leia. She realized what she's done. And then I was told from somebody that this existed in the old Republic days, this ability to force heal. Okay, yes, but to that extent, really, no. Okay. Because she heals the stab wound completely. Like it, like it wasn't even there. Yeah, she heals him. But also, I don't know if you ever caught this, when she healed him then, that scar that she gave him in Force Awakens also went away. Yeah, that, yeah. You told me that this. You told me that, but I haven't. I I didn't realize it when I saw the movie. And then she said, "I did want to take your hand, Ben's hand." It's like, oh shit, feels yep. man. And then, and then, Le- she gets, and then Leia's pretty much. I, I mean, at this point, I think she's dead. Yeah, dead, dead. Yeah, and then you know, Ma says goodbye, dear princess. I'm like, yep. Oh, you know, no. she's dead. And then. When when Ray and the rest of them get away, Ben's left there on the planet, and then he hears, "Hey kid," turns around. Turns around. He's Han he's Solo. Over. Like which it's makes actually sense. it's actually Harrison Ford, which is crazy. I want to know how big that paycheck was. Yeah. And it's not. And don't get don't get out of control. It's not a force ghost. Ben's hallucinating. Yep. And then, it's like you're dead. You're like you're a thing of my imagination. And like I'm your memory. Like, it's like, like. She's gone. Like, yeah, your mother's gone, but what she stood for isn't gone. And then it's like kind of like a mirrored conversation like they had in Force Awakens. He says, I know what I have to do, but I don't know if the strength to do it. And Han Solo says, you do. He takes out his lightsaber. He says, Dad. And then his dad goes, I know. And then he tosses the lightsaber away. Yep. Which I think when he said, Dad, I think he was going to say, I love you. And that's why Han Solo said, I know. I know. Yeah, me too. And then it shows Rey on Octu burning the TIE fighter. She's about to toss Luke Skywalker's lightsaber into it. No, she does, and then a hand catches it. A blue hand. You come in, and it's Jedi Master Luke Skywalker as a Force Ghost. Hey, and, and, and then he says, A Jedi's weapon deserves more respect. And he basically gives her a pep talk about how Leia knew the whole time she was a Palpatine, but still trained her because of her good heart. You and told me yourself the Jedi should end. I was wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> he says, confronting fear is the destiny of the Jedi, and if you don't face Palpatine, it'll mean the end of the Jedi. And then he basically get, tells her a story about how he trained Leia. It was like, oh, cool, we get a flashback scene where Luke is training Leia. That CGI was really good. It was. It made Luke look younger, made Leia look younger, and she she he gives her Leia's lightsaber, which she had a lightsaber. Wait. Woo! And it looked pretty good. I like the, I like the design. Yeah. And then like if, Rey if does, Galaxy's Edge doesn't start mass producing that, I'm gonna be mad. They will. Don't worry about it. I mean, they have Kylo Ren's and Ben Solo's lightsaber out there, so yeah. Yeah, they'll make gonna... they'll make Leia's. They'll absolutely do it. And then Ray discovers that in the Tie Fighter, there's another Wayfinder, and Luke, much like Yoda in Empire Strikes Back, raises his X-wing out of the water and plays the same music too. I was so happy. Like, yeah, he finally yes, had to he do did it. it. I was like, I just remembered that line that Yoda said in it when they said in Empire. I was like, I don't believe it. That is why you fail. And lo and behold, he he believes it now. I was like, oh, that was so good. That was so fulfilling. So she basically takes over Red Five. Woo, yep. woo. And then, um, once they get the message translated, they it's it's um, 
the Emperor says is basically this is the final order. They figure out about those those Star Destroyers and like, oh shit. It's like, so they send Lando and Chewie in the Falcon to go get help from people who will help the Resistance. And the rest of the Resistance go after those Star Destroyers. And while Rey goes after Palpatine. Yep. And when he get when she gets there, he's there waiting for her. It's like, at long last, my granddaughter has come home. Ugh. Yeah, freaky looking guy. And I guess surrounded by the souls of the Sith, I guess that's what those things were. I suppose. And then he says, you will strike me down with all your hatred. That sounds familiar. Yep. And take my I place mean, as Empress Palpatine. Luke couldn't do it, but I'm sure you can. Yeah, and he says, Luke was saved by his father. The only family you have here is me. And, you know, Ben Solo ends up there, and she senses him, and he's like, do it. Strike me down with all of your hatred. And she, she, pull, she like, puts a letter behind her head like she's going to do it. It disappears like a Houdini act. <laughs> Again, that's wait, That's what I'm saying. That's too much. Like the, and then Ben Solo course. has it. I like when he has it. He's kind of like, eh. He does that thing. Yeah, he's like, eh. Cool, I have a lightsaber. And, then, and right then, then takes out the Knights of Ren, which were kind of yep. pointless. Yep. And then catches, meets up with Ray, who who takes down all those guards around Palpatine. And yep. then when Palpatine shocking him with lightning, he discovers that their life force heals him basically. And then he heals himself to pretty much make himself look like regular Palpatine. Yep. Ben Solo tries to get up to stop him, and he picks him up, he lifts him up with the force, and says, "As I once fell, so will the last Skywalker." He's a Solo, but okay. But he has Skywalker lineage. His True. mother and his uncle are both Skywalkers. True. And he tosses Ben Solo down a pit. Maybe he's dead, maybe he's not. And then, um, you know, when they're trying to take out those Star Destroyers, a bunch of ships come in. Yep. That was really cool. And yep. Lando, Lando and Chewie pile in a Falcon. And then, Just like old times. But... The Emperor starts shooting up lightning up there, trying to, to like, take to taking out their ships. And like, then, I like force lightning, but that was like what? That was like overkill lightning. Oh yeah, even like Dooku was like, "Really, man? You couldn't see how taught me how to do that? Really?" <laughs> uh, and then Ray hears the voices of past Jedi, and you hear everybody and from Obi Wan, Qui Gon, Yoda, Luke, Ahsoka, Ahsoka. You hear everybody, man, and it's like the actual actors: Mace Windu, Samuel Jackson, Hayden Christensen, you and McGregor, all of them, man. Awesome. And, and then she stands up with uh, with Leia's lightsaber, and I am all the Sith. She tries to deflect the lightning, and she grabs Luke's lightsaber and says, "And I am all the Jedi." And then pff, uses both lightsabers to deflect the lightning. It right back at him. Yeah, and it, 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 it freaks him up, man. Yeah. He's like, oh, not again. He's like, oh, come on. <laughs> and then I he's... just got my face back. And then I'm pretty sure he's dead now. Oh, yeah. And then the Star Destroyers start losing the power. They take out the main one, which has the dish on it. And all of those things start falling. Yep. And then Ray passes out, because I guess the Force energy kind of took it out of her. Yep. And then Ben gets himself back up, heals her, brings her back to life, but at the cost they... of his own. They and, kiss. Yes, they kiss. I did not like that. Me either. But and then he fades away. Yeah, becomes one with the Force and his mother with him. Yep. And all is well. She gets back into X-wing. They go back to base. They celebrate. And yeah. I love this. Maz gave Chewie the medal he deserved. Hell yeah! This belongs to you. So does it that only does, took thirty so, plus years? So but... does that cement it? Are Maz and Chewie an item now? Probably. I'm not against it. Me neither. And so the movie then cuts to the last scene, which is Ray on Tatooine. 